I want you to start thinking about this. I want you to give yourself five or ten seconds to get your mind into this state. You do not care about the outcome. Holding putts today is irrelevant. There's a drill we're going to do in a minute. I don't want you to give a, an SH1T about the outcome. We're going to develop robot mentality, I call it, where we're just concentrating on cloning a stroke to feel identical, almost like a musician's metronome. Hi everyone, Murdoch here, hope you're well. Putting today, short putts. I've got a three foot putt behind me, putter length, because I know a lot of you are struggling on the greens and once you struggle on the greens, it just adds more pressure to getting your chips closer. Your fear on approach shots are there. You're not fluid on your iron swings. You're tense because you think, I've got to hit the green and two putt for my par. So the whole golf game is affected from certainly six foot and in. Now, if you're strong from three foot, four foot range and in, there's no change on a six footer. It's just a slightly longer stroke. In fact, the pace that a well-struck rolling three or four foot putt going in the hole is pretty much the same as a six footer. Once the greens become summer quickness, you know, 10 on the stimp and faster. So you chaps in America there and these warmer countries and states will have wonderful greens already. So you know what I mean by that. Six foot, four foot, you're not changing the pace of which you hit. So I want to focus on that three footer. Now, before we start looking at the stroke and making a couple of changes for you, I want you to have this mentality. Remember, if you're missing putts, it's not from overconfidence. It's not from hitting it too hard. It's from moving and anxiety and looking too soon and worried about the outcome. I want you to start thinking about this. I want you to give yourself five or 10 seconds to get your mind into this state. You do not care about the outcome. Holding putts today is irrelevant. There's a drill we're going to do in a minute. I don't want you to give a, an SH1T about the outcome. We're going to develop robot mentality, I call it, where we're just concentrating on cloning a stroke to feel identical, almost like a musician's metronome. Perfect. Every time. Whether you've got a slightly slower tempo or faster tempo will be up to the golfer. I don't want you to care about the outcome. Our process is the control we have on the stroke. That's it. So take your time to think about that for a second. Our goal today, when you try this video, try this drill, is how many good strokes you can do in a row. Okay, I've got a straight putt behind me, putter length. Now, the setup, I crouched down on my low putt, on my short putts, 10 foot and in, modelled my stroke on Jack Nicholas back in the day. I really like the fact his setup, in particular, his eyes were over the ball, or over the, should I say, over the line of the putt, but behind the ball. That way, with the ball forward in your stance, not the centre, you automatically feel that with just a turn of the head, you're tracing right down the line you want to hit it on. There's just no movement of shoulders. If you're directly over the ball, I think there's just a little bit of a movement possibility with your upper body. And if you're too tall, you're too fragile with a little risk of shoulders moving. So I like crouching down, widening the stance and imagining that I'm stuck in concrete from the knees down. No movement there at all. I've got horse blinkers on. I don't care about the outcome. I'm not going to look. I'm just concentrating on that robot consistency cloned putting stroke. Back through. So with the ball forward, easy to aim, but it's also giving you the opportunity to keep the putter naturally lower to the grass on the way back. Low on the way back means that you'll naturally slightly come up on the ball giving you extra top spin to make it roll better towards the hole. So these things become automatic, automatic just with that setup change. So make a little adjustment with yourselves there. If you feel like your putting's at a point where you're going to try anything, 
But like I said, I'm going to remind you again, robot mentality. We don't care about the outcome. This little drill we're going to do, you've got a straight putt, right? Straight putt on the putting green. Our goal is to hit and bounce out. All right? Yes, hit and bounce out. We're not going to make it. I want you to hit and bounce out. So that means hitting it hard. I don't want you to think too long either. We're just going to go back, bang. Back, bang. Back, bang. Hit and bounce out. How many can you do in a row? Doing that puts immediate positivity in the stroke. Remember, you don't care. Your goal is that stroke. Hit and bounce out. Hit and bounce out. I want you to do five, six in a row. If you can, comment down below how many you've done. It's quite difficult. What you'll notice just immediately after five minutes doing this, how you're starting to hit the back of the hole. You're automatically getting the center of the putter, which puts a good roll on it, hits the back of the hole. Now, I bet you'll find that you'll hit five, six in a row made and one bouncing out doing this honestly like I said when you start missing putts you're not going to be positive in your stroke you'll be too worried about the outcome worried about missing that short putt on the ninth for your best ever front nine you know this kind of thing so that's ahead of the game the results will be good just like what I what I like in the long game number three the result happens after number one a good move with number two a good strike with that good move produces number three the outcome so give this a go if you can make some putts you turn an average ball striking round into a brilliant one <laughs> honestly it's that true it takes the pressure off it becomes a wonderful game if you know you're going to make those putts anyway give it a go comment down below tell me what you think and tell me down below how many putts you can bounce out and then you'll start making them Hope this helps. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next one. Take care.